I just want to set the world on fire. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nuke for Prayers and this is Fallout 4 Weapon and Crafting with Mods. Today we have the Alien Blaster. Every weapon in this video uses the Alien Blaster as the basis of the weapon, so I'm going to get on with the video and I hope you enjoy. The first weapon today is the Scatter Alien Blaster. The Scatter Alien Blaster uses the WMX mod in order to convert the weapon projectile into a shotgun projectile. Other than that, everything else is the same. The next weapon is the Alien Shotgun. The Alien Shotgun uses the same principle as the Scatter Alien Blaster, however I changed the appearance slightly so that you hold the weapon like a rifle, rather than like a pistol. Next we have the Alien Sniper. The Alien Sniper is also held like a rifle and has had its range increased thanks to the Plasma Sniper Barrel and a Beam Focuser on the muzzle. I then use the WMX mod to convert the projectile back into the Alien Blaster projectile. Next we have the Auto Alien Blaster. The Auto Alien Blaster uses the full auto conversion from the WMX mod in order to give it automatic fire. If you wanted to do this using any mod any weapon, then you could use something like the signal repeater from the gamma gun or the automatic barrel from the laser. Next we have the Cryo Alien Blaster. The Cryo Alien Blaster uses the Cryolator projectile as well as the Freezing Perk from the Legendary mods. This makes this weapon very devastating, very good against multiple enemies especially if they are ones with low health like ghouls.
Next we have the Lorenzo Alien Blaster. This uses the Lorenzo artifact and works in a very similar way to a Gamma Alien gun that I featured in a previous video. This is quite a strong weapon as it staggers the opponent quite frequently and if you wanted you could use the legendary mods and add the stagger effect to make it more prominent, allowing you to incapacitate the enemy while you take them down. Next we have the Teleporter. Teleporter is a weapon that is added in with the WMX mod and is normally dropped from enemies like the Mylurk Queen. Even though this weapon looks like an alien blaster, it does not work in the same way. What it does is teleports an object or a person to the location where the bullet impacts. In this case I use the clone, but you can also use things like a mattress or a workshop station. So there are some very interesting combinations that you can use with this weapon. Next we have the Reanimator. The Reanimator works like a standard alien blaster, but with any enemies that you kill that don't get disintegrated you can then shoot their corpse in order to reanimate the enemy, allowing them to fight by your side. This works with any type of enemy, but they will not follow you around. Finally today we have the Alien Rifle. The Alien Rifle is actually a mod and is not the Alien Blaster but a separate weapon. It can be added to the legendary drops so that people can find it in the wasteland and is highly customizable to use things like fusion cores or even Nuka Cola quantum bottles for its ammunition. You can then add things like a bayonet or change the projectile to a shotgun or maybe even a sniper rifle or a continuous beam. Like I said, this weapon is highly customizable to the point where you can even change the color of the weapon. I'll leave the link to the mod in the description because this is a very nice gun to add to your arsenal.
and that's all the weapons that I have in this video today. I'm afraid that this gun is not the most customizable, but some of the combinations that you can make with it can be very devastating as the base weapon is very devastating. Also I was a little pressed for time as I was away over the weekend, so I really didn't get to sit down and play with this weapon in the way that I would some of the others. So I may do some more designs for the alien blaster later on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.